This is geometry, unit three, lesson eight on the midpoint formula. The midpoint of a segment we know is the point that is halfway between the two endpoints of the segment. So if we wanted to find the midpoint of AB with A is at two negative three and B is at eight seven, we would wanna go halfway between the two segments. So it divides into two congruent segments. So if I'm looking at this segment, I can pretty well pick this out, it's right here. That would be M is my midpoint. The distance from here to here is the same as the distance from here to here. If you think of that uh, Pythagorean theorem, if we triangle this off, if we go up five and over three, I get to here, and then do up five over three again, the distance is exactly the same. You can see AM is congruent to BM, so that'd be my midpoint. So on graph paper, this point is one, two, three, four, five, one, two. The midpoint is at five, two. Now, how would we find this using just the coordinates? We don't always have graph paper, so we want to have a way of doing this. Well, if you think about this for a second, if you wanted to find between two numbers, what uh, the middle of two numbers is, wouldn't you take the average? Yeah. So to find the midpoint, you would take the average of the coordinates. So find the average of the coordinates. So let's try this out algebraically to make sure that 5, 2 is our actually our point. So let's look at the x-coordinate. All right, how do you take an average? Well, to take an average, you add the two values and then divide by 2. All right, so for the x-coordinate, this would be 2 plus 8 divided by 2. And that's going to be 10 over 2, which is 5. So my x coordinate is going to be 5. Well, isn't that what we said m was? Yep. Let's try the y coordinate. All right, the y coordinates are negative 3 plus 7 divided by 2. Negative 3 plus 7 is 4 divided by 2 is 2. So my midpoint M is at 5, 2. So to find the midpoint, you have to find the average of the coordinates. So if we write this formally as a formula, what did we do? We averaged the coordinates. We took x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So if I have my coordinates here, my point here, my midpoint is going to be here. To find that, I would have to do x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So all you have to do is take the average of the coordinates. So applying this formula, we can find the midpoint of anything as long as we have the two coordinates of the endpoints. Let's look to find the midpoint of RS. If R is a, a plus 2, and S is 3a, a minus 8. It doesn't matter if you have variables or not, it's still a midpoint. So the formula is x1 plus x2. So if I wanted to find the midpoint of RS, I would take the x values and divide them by 2. So it would be a plus 3a, because this is x1, this one would be x2, and I want to divide it by 2. And then y1 and y2, I do the same thing, add them together, a plus 2 plus a minus 8 divided by 2. So if I simplify that, a plus 3a is 4a divided by 2. a plus 2 plus a minus 8 is 2a minus 6 divided by 2. So your midpoint will be 4a divided by 2 is 2a. 2a minus 6 divided by 2, make sure you divide both of them, is going to be a minus 3. And we just found the midpoint using variables. Same exact thing. Now, let's look at this a little bit differently. Find the coordinates of n, x, y if m is, is 2, negative 3 is the midpoint of ln, and l has coordinates of negative 1, 2. All right, this time they're giving you the midpoint, and they want you to find one of the other endpoints. So let's see if we can figure this out both graphically and algebraically. So let's graph what we have. We're looking for n, x, y. The midpoint is at 2, negative 3. 1, 2, 3, which would be right there. That would be the midpoint. And... Ln is my line, and L has coordinates of negative 1, 2. Negative 1, 
2. So if that is going to be, m is going to be my midpoint, n has got to be down here somewhere, correct? Yeah. So let's draw in our segment from L, let me do a solid line here, from L to M. All right, so I know the distance from L to M would have to equal the distance from M to N. So how would we find graphically what it would be? You would extend the segment using the slope. Okay, so I'm going to go from L to M. How did I get from L to M using slope? I went down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I went down 5 and then to the right 3. Okay, so I want to go the same distance on the opposite side. I would go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then to the right 3, 1, 2, 3, and my point N would be right there if I extend that line. So I know that the distance is exactly the same from L to N as it is from M to N. So this will equal this, and my coordinates of N will be, N of XY will now be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, negative 8, and I just found it. So the midpoint can be, if you're given the midpoint, you can find the other coordinate. All right, now let's look at this algebraically. What if I had to find this algebraically? Well, remember that to find the midpoint, you have to add the coordinates. So it would have to be uh, n plus l divided by 2 would have to equal m for each of the coordinates, correct? So it would be for the x's and for the y's. So using n plus l divided by 2 is equal to m, let's plug in some values. So for the x-coordinate, all right, what is the x-coordinate of n? It would be x plus l. So it would be x here plus what l is. l is at negative 1, 2. So that would be the x-coordinate is x plus negative 1 divided by 2 should equal the m, which was 2, negative 3. So it's going to act equal 2. How would we solve this? Well, I'd multiply both sides by 2, so that gives me x minus 1 is equal to 4, because I'm multiplying by 2 here, and then add 1, and I get x is equal to 5. So my x-coordinate was 5. That's what we got here. Let's see if we can do the same thing for the y-coordinate. All right, doing the y-coordinate, let's see. The y-coordinate uh, is going to be y for n. Add the L to it, which was 2, divided by 2, and that should equal the midpoint, which is at negative 3. All right, now solving this for Y, multiply both sides by 2, and that gives me Y plus 2 is equal to negative 6, and then subtract the 2, and we get Y is equal to negative 8. And isn't that what we found for N? So N is going to be at 5, negative 8. So when you're doing this, you're still finding the average of the coordinates. You just already know what the midpoint was, and you just solve it for the one you didn't know. It is very important that you know your formulas for these kind of um, geometric proofs. You are not given these formulas on the regions. You have to know them. So let's do a quick summary of the formulas we already know. So if we have a is equal to negative 2, 1, and b is equal to negative 3, negative 5, find the distance. All right, so the distance of a, b, what is the distance formula? The distance formula is the square root of, I got a little neater there, delta x quantity squared plus delta y quantity squared. So that means take the difference between the x's and square it, add the difference between the y's and square it, and take the square root. So let's do that. All right, so this would be x1, y1, x2, y2, however you want to do it. The difference between the x's would be negative 3 minus negative 2, quantity squared, plus the difference between the y's would be negative 5 minus 1, quantity squared. Negative 3 minus minus 2 is negative 1, squared. Negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6, squared. Negative 1 squared is 1, plus uh, negative 6 squared is 36. Make sure you square the negative as well. So this is going to equal the square root of 37.
So the distance from A to B is the square root of 37 using the distance formula. Difference between the x squared plus the difference between the y squared, and then take the square root. Remember, it comes from the Pythagorean theorem. Now, the next formula you need to know is slope. Slope is m equals delta y over delta x, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Remember, that's what delta means. So, the slope of AB using this formula would be negative 5 minus 1 over negative 3 minus negative 2. Watch your signs. Negative 6. Negative 3 minus minus 2 is negative 3 plus 2, which is negative 1. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. So your slope of AB will be 6. So for our third formula, our third formula is the midpoint formula. It is the average of the coordinates. So it is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So our points, we said that a was negative 2, 1, and b was 3, negative 3, negative 5. So the midpoint is going to be negative 2 plus negative 3 divided by 2, and 1 plus negative 5 divided by 2. Add your x's, divide by 2. Add your y's, divided by 2. This gives you negative 5 over 2, and this gives you negative 4 over 2. So if you simplify this, it's negative 5 over 2, negative 2. Yes, you can have fractions, it's okay. Or for this one, negative 5 over 2 is negative 2.5 negative 2, that would also be acceptable. As long as this isn't repeating decimal, that would be acceptable. Okay, so that is a summary of the formulas that you need to know. You need to know the distance formula, the slope formula, and the midpoint formula, and actually the equation the line formula as well. But um, these basic formulas are what you need to know in order to do a coordinate proof, which we'll be doing soon.